Tsuyo never thought he would have to go and try to acquire limbs for his peasants. That was just beyond it. But once again, he realized if he wanted to turn these worthless peasants into a proper army, he will actually have to take care of them. For some reason, they were not capable of taking care of themselves. Speaking with the tech hunters at the way station, he has learned that deep in the Deadlands, the Black Desert City, there is a man, a skeleton, that sells limbs, prosthetic limbs for people who lost them. Now, of course, Tsuyo did not trust a skeleton. He would never trust a skeleton, but he did not see himself have another chance. He will have to go deep into the Deadlands and he will have to bring legs for the people. He had no idea how much that's gonna cost him, but he was sure these people will be forever in his debt. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Kenshi Sunrise Invasion. Welcome back, my friends. Tsuyo is not impressed, but he has to do things. That's just how it is. We brought everybody back home. It was a long, tough trek through the, the storms and such. Sandstorms, that is. Oh, these guys have leveled up to a five. Awesome. <laughs> it's been a long trek, yes, but we've done it. Also, as you can see over here, we now have some prisoner cages that we were able to build. So we'll be able to start recruiting people in that way if we can find some starving vagrants or something like that. We can bring them back here and we're, we can recruit them thusly. So we don't need to just buy worthless slaves and we can maybe even focus on getting a Scorchlander at some point because we are severely lacking those. But yes, for now, the goal is Tsuyo and some of his people are gonna go deep into the Deadlands and to the Black Desert City and acquire some limbs because we all know Bianlian over here is missing a left arm and then we have Shay, Zoya and Artemis missing legs. So definitely need to need to do a bit of uh, acquiring over there. Also uh, Cole is missing a left arm so we got, we got Cole over here that could uh, also help out in this one. And, uh, you know, just get a, get a better arm. Since these boys are training over here, how about we upgrade these training dummies? They're still training <laughs> while they're being upgraded. Awesome. Uh, we needed steel bars for that. Just one steel bar and we had them. Apparently, four out of three iron plates is pretty amazing. But yeah, uh, we had steel bars from one of the butcher spiders that was out here and I picked them up. So... We got that going for us, which is nice. And there I see another old machine out here. And another... Oh, that's a security spider pet. <gasps> I want to have one of those. That would be so cool. Actually having the security spider over here. You know what? Tuyo might not trust uh, skeletons. But having a pet security spider? Now that, that would be dope. There you go. It has been done. We now have training dummies to get to level 10. In stats which is you know it's uh <laughs> it's pretty necessary in this land that we live in most people don't need that because most people once they get into one fight it works out for them but you know for any new recruits that you might get i never build training dummies but I, I thought you know what this time around it actually might make sense now let us prepare a party who's gonna go out there and try to get some limbs there you go six boys that's all we need these six are gonna go out there and uh, hopefully they will they will bring back some limbs. We need we need five. We need five limbs, which is uh, quite a lot. I don't know if we'll be able to take them with a five finger discount. Most likely not, because uh, I don't know if you know, but Universal Wasteland expansion changes some of these uh, places like Black Desert City. Uh, it's 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 usually a place you can rob real easily, right? And that has been changed, so there's more guards over there, and the guards in a position that you know you just won't be able to to steal like that unless you are able to assassinate them, which I very much doubt we would be. Uh, also, these guys are all gonna get hurt from oh well, acid, but that's that's fine, you know. What could possibly go wrong? A little bit of acid never hurt nobody. Am I right or am I right? And here we go. They are already complaining about them acid. <laughs> Tsuyo, 75 protection. Cole, 15. Zeritsobo, 75. Luna, 65. Beyond, 25. 
and slow line 60 so we're fine i mean cole and Bian are not as fine as you would hope but there should be there should be okay no worries there we're slowly making it to the black desert city it's, it's not that long of a trek so this really shouldn't be a problem for these these boys who are very experienced travelers by now i mean that's debatable if they are very experienced but it should be fine Narcos balls. No, 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 dude. It's holy balls on a chopstick. There is a battle out here. Skeleton Legion boys are here. 99 stats. 104 strength. Now, these guys would absolutely murder us. But if they get wrecked by any chance by the skeletons residing here, which seems like a not big of a possibility because they have better stats, then we would be... Wow, okay, okay. What's going on in here, boys? Who is fighting who? Skeleton Legion. Oh, Bell of the Iron Head. See how bounty of 500 cats. I think we might be able to loot some stuff. And Metalheads are also fighting over here. Well, Metalheads usually have some good loot. Looks like this is an all out war. We don't necessarily want to be part of this war. But we might want to, I don't know, put our fingers to good use and maybe get some useful stuff off of this. I think I see somebody on the ground over here. Yeah, there's the Scout and Legion guy. Come over here to you. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's pretty decent stuff. It's pretty decent stuff. Uh, that backpack is now mine. All of gear is now mine, and he's a 87 martial artist. Let's fucking run before <laughs> he wakes up and completely and absolutely murders us. Wouldn't want none of that. You guys, let's let's all run into the bar for now, maybe. This is skeleton enforcers. Where's the bar over here? That's the robotic shop. Is the bar down this way? The bar is down this way. Let's uh, let's go down that way, boys. We will use our chance to loot stuff over here for sure there's another skeleton legion guy mm, it would be really unfortunate not to pick some of these boys up i mean those are very heavy and uh hard to use but these guys have specials great stuff you know you can't just say no to specials great stuff that you're being offered on the street am i right it's uh it's not how it works i'm sorry Oh yes, Metalheads, I remember that now. They have good heal kits. They got backpacks for us. Oh, we're we're definitely taking some stuff from them. We might be very slow, but we're we're taking stuff from them. Yeah, this, this guy over here is just going ham. I don't know skeletons what's going on with you, but hmm. More metalhead stuff. Time to loot. Hey, we made it boys. We made it into Luna? Call? What are you, why, why are you not here? Come on. I was, I was like, we made it. And as we made it, we got some good stuff. Like, like ration packs. And the skeleton repair kits are so big over here. So big. Good stuff. Good stuff, my friend. Uh, we're gonna actually see if we can... This guy's selling AI, uh, AI course. Wow. He's actually selling AI course. It's pretty amazing. Uh, it's, uh, did not expect that. Robot spider backpacks, that's kind of cool. We will sell you this one thing, this fragment circle. We're not gonna get much for it. It's 30 kilos, it's not worth uh, hauling around. Because it's making slow line... Well, slow line, you get the idea, right? So, no, we're not taking that with us. You can have it. Oh my, there's a cleanser unit coming through here as well. With some security spiders. This seems like a nightmare for all these skeletons. <laughs> I mean, these guys are having fun. There's all kinds of murder happening out here in the streets. If that thing walks into the into the town, there could be even more murder. Although it seems like... Oh, now that's a skeleton legion as well. It's interesting that the crimpers are not actually helping out over here in the in the battles. You would expect them to help, but they don't appear to want to. He's actually going deep into the city. 
I don't think we are safe on the streets right now. I mean, that's an Elder Iron Spider as well. Oh, there you go. Yep, Skeleton Shop Guards. Look at, look at the damage these things are doing. Room, he says. <laughs> oh, it's a pacifier. He just got pacified. Oh yeah, I think the the skeletons out here are gonna are gonna get obliterated if these guys stick around. Would be nice if the uh, if the guards out there popped out. That'd be that'd be nice. I don't feel uh, safe to go out into the street right now <laughs> with all of that shit over here. Man, oh man, I'm not sure if I feel safe. But uh, you know, we're, we're gonna still do it. We're still gonna do it. Uh, let's grab slow lines or Itsobo and Suyo. You three. Coming out. You guys that are still in here, just be holding passive. I don't want you doing nothing silly. In fact, you can uh, you can go pop into the beds and heal up. Yeah, acid rain. Do not go close to this bad boy. Do not get close to this bad boy. Oh Jesus. Yeah, we're being already chased. Okay, luckily for us, these guys are ready to fight others. I want you guys to be holding passive as well. No, nothing else. So we will put yourself over there. Zuritsobo and Slowline are going to be the first one to go in here. Now, as you know, usually when you, when you go in here, there would be a guard. It will try to follow you. You see, there's a guard over here now as well, so you can't go in here and do the five finger discount. So, that's decent. Do they have a guard that would follow us in here as well? I would, uh, I would expect that. Let's have Zoritobo go up here. Ah, there you go. There's that dude. Let's come out here with, with him. Hey, hey, I'm here. I'm here. I'm just gonna go this way and stay in a corner. Slow line. Let's have you come up here. Yeah. Let's see if slow line can be here. There's, there seem to have a lack of lack of guards. Slight lack of guards in here. Now, to you. If you pop in in stealth mode, how are we looking then? We're looking pretty good. Unfortunately, Tuya doesn't really have much lock picking skills, which is shame is he still he's wearing this also so that doesn't <laughs> doesn't really help there doesn't seem to be anybody back here anybody we actually have a chance to unlock that safe that's impressive oh yeah oh boy oh boy um thread lightly note we need more guards in here we need a guard always in duty back here as well because these these guys ran down. I wonder if they ran outside to do fighting? No, it just seems that they ran down here to be guards on the bottom side. We need more guards. Even with more population, we need more guards. Let's go. Alright. Uh, we need left arm. We need two left arms. And then we need two right legs and one left leg. So yeah, let's see what you can finger right now. You said left arms, right? Here's a left arm right there. You'll have to see it. Uh, he won't, of course, be able to haul everything. That's another left arm. Industrial lifter. Take that one. We'll definitely take that one. Uh, slow line. Are you close enough that I can give you this thing? You are slow, uh, close enough that I can give you this thing. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, you need to carry these so we can pick up two legs let's make sure we said two rights and a left two rights do not make a left or what they say right what do we have i mean these will make you fast we can we can open up with that 100 percent. and we need a space for another leg maybe i'm gonna transfer some more stuff to slow line let's take the scout left Right, we have right, right, left, as we need it. And let's maybe take uh, this industrial lifter uh, arm as well. Just so we just so we have some. Let's see you up. Let's have you wait to stop committing crime. 
ladies and gentlemen. We got him. Okay, I transferred all of my inventory to these two guys. So we have backpacks full of, of good stuff now. And, uh, well, there's more we can take. So, I think we will. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Thread Lightly. I, 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 my apologies for uh, stealing once again. <laughs> uh, but we're gonna take extra legs. Because I have a feeling we will be losing legs in the long run. So, I mean, if I can get people legs that make them run faster, I think I will, you know? I think we will do exactly that, just so we can have some extra, extra limbs. That's more scout legs. Can we get some rights? Let's get, the, let's get a right there. Maybe a left over here. Some stealth ones. Maybe two is gonna need something like that eventually. There's a swift arm as well, which is decent. Let's wait for him to stop committing crime and make sure there's nobody coming up. Which right now there isn't. I did send Cole, Luna and Beyond to come closer over here. So we can give them their limbs. You know, uh, Cole, in fact, you come over here and just trade with that guy. I, I want you to get rid of that uh, thing that you have. Alright, he is now probably going up. At which point, Tuyo... It's time you quickly transfer some of these items. If you can, yes we can. Steal as much as you can and then get the fuck out. <laughs> Alright, just noticed, as I stole this, he's now to 85% chance to steal. We're gonna we're gonna stop playing with this. We're just gonna we're just gonna stop. He's he's here, this guy is here. So there you go. Uh, show me what you've got, buddy. Cole? Would you mind selling him your... Oh, these guys have so much. Holy shit. It's good. Sell him your arm. Tsuyo, stop committing crime, buddy. Alright. He was never here. You never notice him? Let's go, boys. Okay, we need... Left arms, we said, right? Let's see. It's a uh, swift for the dexterity bonus. Cole? Ah, oh, Jesus, Cole. Come on. So you trade with Cole. Alright, Cole, look at that. Swift arm for you. Yes, nice. She's got well, she's got some decks now. It's a better it's a better arm for you. And Bianlan also needs a left one. He's got one whole strength, which means we should totally give him a strength arm. Uh, I know we have one in one of these backpacks. Industrial lifter? Wait, didn't we have we do have power arm as well. Let's give Bianlan that thing. Yeah, dude. There you go. He's got two strength now. Well, he's got four, but you know, you get the idea. He's a strong man. All right, boys. Now we are extremely over encumbered. There is war everywhere around here. Skeleton Legion and all kinds of other nastiness. Look at that thing. That thing's fighting out here. Ain't nobody surviving that. <laughs> Uh, there's just skeletons lying on the ground. Yeah, I think this is not the best place to be right now. Not the safest place, that's for damn sure. All right, a bit of a, a bit of an army in our way, and we uh, can we get around this thing. Just a, uh, just a couple of iron spires. Nothing to worry there. I, I do see skeleton nomads over there. Skeleton nomads will have pets for sale. I would love to buy myself a security spider pet and just park it uh, out there <laughs> in, in, the t in the tower. You know, have him as our Steve. That would be perfect. Who are you all fighting? Oh, you're fighting all machine. They actually took down a crimper pet. Well, it's just a pup though, I guess. Because there's that. We're not buying a crimper pet. If you, if you think that, no, 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 we're not. We're, we're not. I'm not sure even if we can buy anything else over here, because these nomads have an issues. But let's actually try, I mean, we can we can talk to one. So you all go talk to this guy, don't get hurt along the way, please. There you go. Show me what you have. We'll keep it paused, <laughs> so he doesn't get hit. Not buying crimpers. There's the security spider pets. Oh, dude. There they are. And there's the iron spiders. More crimpers. 
We want a security spider. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna get... This guy looks like a Steve, right? Let's buy him. Oh, he's he seems damaged. Steve seems like he's he's seen better days. Oh, Steve is in the water. He's dying. No, you're not fighting these. No, 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 no. Slow line, slow line, buddy. That way. To you. Oh, of course you got hit. I was just trying to buy a fucking goddamn pet. To you, why? Why, dude? Motherfucker. That was really unnecessary. Come on over here, boys. Let's, uh, let's first aid to you before he loses his goddamn leg. And then we have Steve. Uh, Zuritobo. Come pick up Steve. You go. You got this, dude. Alright, so you're fine. Splint your injuries, dude. Yeah, I, I bet Zuritobo this is not good, but you have to save Steve. You gotta save Steve. This is all splint rigging that you, you could have done. You don't have a splint rig. Uh, splint kit. Well, why would that be the case, buddy? There you go. Okay, okay. 10 run speed. Not exactly amazing. Let's uh, all of you come over here. He's got no no bags. God damn it. I know back at the bar, people had some bags. But I'm, we're not going back to the bar right now. Let's just try to bring all this stuff back home. And Steve is gonna have to be carried. Which is definitely gonna slow us down even more. Tuyo, why did you have to get hurt? In the goddamn leg. Hmm? I, I, I wonder. I wonder, too. You're the strongest. Pick him up. Of course, you will chase down my slowest people. Could you please fuck off? Are you kidding me? Stop it! Spiders, we get out of the the Black Desert city and the uh, Deadlands, and this is where we start getting chased by this shit. Are you... you are shitting me, bros. You are shitting me. Please stop. Deck Hunter's help. These guys are annoying me. I don't, I don't want none of that. Come up here. Of course, they spread out to chase every single fucking person. Oh! No. All out. Get out of here. There was shock written on people's faces when Tsuyo and his men returned, bringing home a pet. And of course, this was no mere pet. It was a security spider. Something that's gonna protect the tower from any would-be invaders, is what Tuyo said. But unfortunately, the little pup had no combat training. So Tuyo decided that he's gonna from now on bring him out there when they go fight stuff and have him train along the peasants. Tuyo's first idea, of course, was to train the pet on the peasants. He had plenty of them now, could definitely sacrifice one or two, but then in the end he decided against it. I mean, he just spent some time trying to get him new limbs. If he did that, he would probably have to go grab more limbs as well. It would just be a hassle. Shay, Zoa and Artemis now have their new legs at last. So, Shay is now 34 run speed, Zoa is a 29 and Artemis is 27. They've got gutter legs, all of them. I think speed is the most important over here, so it's good to have them using that. It's good to have them. I, I, I like it. Tuyo went for a sleep because, you know, he hurts in his leg. Alright, at this point I'm gonna start doing something I usually do not do. And that is, we're gonna buy some ancient science books over here. Yes, that's gonna cost us a lot. But we can trade these in. One CPU unit is basically as much as one ancient science book, so we can do that. We bought the four. Wait, who did I buy them on? On Luna. Alright, there's a reason we bought, we bought four. That's gonna allow us to get to level four research. Why do you want to get higher research? Main reason? I want to do hydroponics. I want to do hydroponics over here. Yes, eventually we will build our own base. But I wanted to do hydroponics over here for a reason. Because... Well, now with the changes where you cannot level up your people doing uh, tanning anymore, right? We, we cannot level up uh, armor smiths that way, it's just levels up laboring. We're gonna have to switch that. Unfortunately, that's that's how it is. Luna's 28 laboring now, you know, instead of being armor smith or weaponsmith. 
Uh, we're gonna need to produce cloth to be able to level it up. And over here, of course, we cannot produce cloth ourselves. Buying cloth, it's almost impossible because there's never any of it. So, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to do that. Now, hydroponics, I don't remember what level is it. Is it five or six? I think it starts at level five. But of course, we're gonna need AI cores for it. There's no question about it. We're gonna need to do some farming research first. We're gonna need to, well, I would want to do, I mean, the best way we can do it is if we go into the swamps and bring back some quality stuff, you know, instead of cotton farming, would be much better if we did hemp farming, but I doubt we can actually get, get any hemp out here. Luna, let's actually go check if they have, have hemp in the way station. I kind of doubt it. They, of course, do not have hemp. They have many other things. Wheat straw, alt straw, agave, tobacco, barley straw, cotton. Cotton would do, of course. But uh, it's, uh, it's not enough. We, we do want hemp. Hemp is, hemp is much better if we, if we ever manage to do that. But, of course, AI course is going to be a bit of a problem. Luckily for us, some of these guys have iron plates over here. We're going to be building a leather working bench. And yes, I think we're going to need uh, much, much cloth for that, unfortunately. But, you know, we can we can buy usually like one one per day over here. Definitely not good enough. It's still better. Two, three, yeah, five. That's, that's how much we need. We need eight. We got four off of the spiders. We get the rest off of these guys. Do not... Oh my god, I hate these people. Stop fucking chasing me around, you dildo. Get out now. Steve, tell him to get out. Get out. Get out. I swear to God, dude. Get out. These guys annoy me. I know it's probably really hard to code them in such a way that they wouldn't follow you into another building. I mean, usually they do... No, Steve. Steve. Lady. Lady! No! What are you trying to do over here? Get out! You don't get to see Steve. Steve is the gate guardian over here. The guardian of the galaxy and the gates. No! Get a fuck out! I don't want that. As I said, over here we're building this leather armor crafting bench. So that's gonna happen now. Yeah, there we go. Anything we need, it's fabrics and leather. Or anything we want to make. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I love to make a rattan hat. You have leather for it. We just don't have much other stuff, unfortunately. Unfortunately. I wonder how much do you need for making one of these small ones. Congratulations on your promotion, Luna. You can now you can make stuff over here. Please stand in the light. And Carius decided to go work over here, which is decent. You three don't have any other jobs, do you? We have to. We're gonna have to give you jobs. Shay, this is now your job. Zoya, this is now your job. Artemis, this is now your job. How did you make it through? Oh, dude, get the fuck out! Oh, there's another guy. This is look. Which part of the private? Don't you fucking understand, lady? Get out of here! This is this is private property. Yeah, shove her, Steve. Like no. Oh fuck off! Fuck off! Out! Out, you morons! No! Get out, Steve! Push them out. Steve, the enforcer. Yeah, yeah. Make him run. Make him fucking run. What? Did you go look at Suya while he sleeps? Are you some kind of a perv? Is that what it is? Huh? You some kind of a perv? No. No shacks allowed in this place. No, in, ah! Ah! No shacks allowed, I said. Lady. Y yeah, you speed up. You better fucking speed up. Don't let me... Don't let me push you. Tsuyo... Tsuyo is just having a good old sleep. He's not an animal in the fucking zoo that you can come and watch. Get out. That's what you fucking get, dude. I can, I can see you. I can already see you walking in here. Don't you... Oh, you will be butchered if you do this. You are of the United States, dude. 
I wouldn't dare. Luna has made herself a prototype rattan small head. How much did you use? Not that much. That much cloth. That's not so bad. Now Luna, go trade this to Shay. Shay doesn't have an actual proper head, so this this should work. I wanna I wanna see how this works on Shay. These are these are the small hats. Oh, I like that. So you can put them in the belt items. They don't protect you as much, but you know they work with some other stuff. We use this in other uh, playthroughs as well. Look at how cool Shay looks now. Although her hair is kind of clipping through, which is unfortunate. But otherwise, look at how cool she looks. She's got herself that face helm, and now she's got herself a hat as well. Good combination. I like it. Yeah, she's the one that has the black and chain shirt, you know, because she is kind of a kind of our tank occasionally. So yeah, I wanna I wanna keep her that way. Now, uh, Luna, I don't know what else you can do, so might as well go work over here. We're gonna have to just make normal rattan hats. You made it in, didn't you? You made it in. Oh, that was a mistake. That was a bad mistake, dude. You're of the United Cities. We do not allow transgressors in here. We'll chop off your right leg and we will imprison you. I can see this being a problem. Don't push him through the wall, though. I can... Uh, okay. I can see him being pushed through the wall, but... We didn't do it. Good. Shay? Grab him. Oh, now you're committing crime? Oh, what a, what a horror. Well, this is why we build this shit. Put him in. Put him in. If he wants to play with, the, with us, oh, he gets to play with us. He's just gonna he's just gonna stay where he belongs actually right in that cage I wanted to try something else you know these guys are out here now that can decently protect themselves and then we have tech hunters to protect us Zoya you can you can run decently fast as well you know the two fast runners maybe would be perfect for this Zoya come out here we're gonna have Shay and Zoya actually start doing some uh, some work for us outside. So, we do have... I would love to have iron resources nearby. We don't. We have copper res resource nearby, actually. Down here. Just go down the hill. And then there's this good old copper. So, what if we assign you... with mining the sad copper over here, Zoya and Shay. You guys are pretty fast. You could be mining some copper for us, which we could then maybe turn into electricals that we could uh, potentially sell over here so how about you two start working on that be careful not to get eaten by various butcher spiders and all that stuff uh steve should really come out here and be like a bodyguard to shay maybe that would be probably perfect you know him being a uh, steve and all he's probably gonna get himself killed but that's it's fine now we actually need storage for copper so we're inside with how small this place is, I don't think we actually have a place for storage for copper, which means I have a feeling this way station is going to have to uh, increase in size a bit. I think I'm pretty sure the tech hunters, with how much work we're doing over here, they will have to think about resizing, building new houses maybe outside of the walls. And then uh, since we do have some money, we can potentially purchase them. What the hell was that over here? Sand Ninja carrying a Sand Ninja just got sniped. My god. You people. Why would you do that to the poor Sand Ninjas? It was about time that Suyo has put his peasants to good use. It was about time they did some actual work and not just played at being warriors, which they clearly were not. He has decided to provide building materials and anything else necessary to this way station so it would grow. He needed more place for his people. He had more place to expand. It was not yet the time to openly move against the United Cities, but the time was coming closer for sure. He will have to provide weapons and equipment to his peasants, train them in combat even more. But first, let them be what they are, peasants. Let them craft, let them labor, let them build. No army can live without its support. No army, no kingdom can exist without 
the lowest ranks that hold up the whole infrastructure. There was a need for warriors, yes, but those warriors needed peasants to survive.